The international media is usually quick to highlight Dubai's glitz and glamour, but there is a dark side to this city. Aside from the mind-blowing architectural structures in Dubai, there are instances of contemptible behavior, racism, pretentiousness, and a backward way of life. If you're looking for the real truth behind the glittering city of Dubai, this video will unveil the dark side of the city. I'm sharing my personal experience of living in Dubai for five years before escaping. You'll love my horror story. But I survived. Before we dive in, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Let's go on a journey into the darker side of Dubai. Dubai is a city with three cultures. The Emirati culture. The government of Sheikh Mohammed. The foreign underclass. These workers wear dirty blue uniforms and are constantly shouted at by their superiors. They also live in smelly and uncomfortable places. Keep in mind that if you're among the lower class, you have to submit your international passport to the management at your workplace. This seems to be the policy for most organizations I have worked with in Dubai. This means that you can't travel out of Dubai unless you get permission, and possibly, your passport. It's a sure red flag for me. The disturbing truth about Dubai. The UAE is a federal monarchy headed by President Khalifa bin Zayed al Nayyan. In reality, the country is a dictatorship, with Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid al Maktoum dictating the most important decisions. He controls everything, from money to modern slavery. As a result, his word is essentially law. Dubai is a city living beyond its ecological capacity, the city has the lowest rainfall in the world and is one of the world's most water-stressed cities. The city relies on seawater for its drinking water, and its desalination plants pump out enormous amounts of carbon dioxide. The city is notorious for its repression of human rights and freedoms, and Sharia law imposes ridiculous punishments for minor crimes, such as hugging and kissing in the public, even for couples, just to name a few. Despite its economic success, Dubai is also facing major problems with sustainability. While it has a thriving business sector, the city suffers from a massive underclass of unpaid migrant workers who are not paid enough to survive. La Mer if you've ever visited Dubai, you've probably heard of La Mer, the upscale neighborhood populated by 90% foreigners. This place is not for the faint of heart. It has fake graffiti, cheap and overpriced drinks, and restaurants, and is the ultimate hipster tourist trap. You shouldn't visit these neighborhoods for any reason. Renting an apartment is expensive. In addition to the high rent, renting an apartment in Dubai also carries a range of extra expenses. The average rental price for a one-bedroom apartment in JLT is around AED 66,236, 18,032 US dollars and 23 cents per year or AED 5,519.66, 1,502 US dollars and 68 cents per month. Tenants are expected to keep the apartment in good condition and pay maintenance charges at the end of the lease term. Depending on the lease agreement, the landlord may pass on these costs to the tenants. Also, tenants are expected to get the utilities and telecommunications installed in their rental apartments. Some landlords may also bear the cost of air conditioning in their properties. In Dubai, the prices of rent vary significantly between different types of properties. Since 2005, housing prices in Dubai almost doubled but have recently begun to decline. Currently, Dubai rental costs are on par with Geneva, the prices for short-term rentals are higher than those for longer periods, moreover, serviced apartments are more expensive than unserviced ones. Serviced apartments come with extra services, such as cleaning and linen changing. Exploitation of workers The UAE has been known to exploit workers. A recent report by Human Rights Watch found that domestic workers are particularly vulnerable to exploitation. Their salaries are often reduced, and employers are often allowed to take away their passports without justification. Even worse, they're often forced to work in dangerous conditions. Workers were notified about layoffs in a series of emails that went out each evening, as a policy, they have to constantly check their email inboxes. In the past months, dozens of employees have quit, many because of the conditions and lack of benefits. Note, while Emirates workers are paid well, the working conditions are not always pleasant. Dubai isn't a walkable city. In the UAE, the government has launched a program to build more walking and cycling paths. But the problem is that the new facilities do not fit together well with the city's road system. Walking paths are often separate from the road network and follow waterways. 
This makes them difficult to find and navigate. Walking in Dubai is not as convenient as in other large cities. You can't take public transport everywhere, and the city is too hot in the summer. But there are some places in the city that are easy to reach on foot, like Burj Al Arab and the Creekside. You can also take a metro to reach major attractions such as the Mall of the Emirates or Dubai Mall. There is also a footpath along the creek that is good for strolling. Dubai is a large, sprawling city. The parts of the city are separated by concrete blocks or big highways, and walking between them can be difficult. However, many areas are pedestrian-friendly and have excellent infrastructure. Dubai is hot to work. If you're looking for a new job in Dubai, you'll find that there are many perks to working in this city. For starters, the economy is booming, and the salaries are fair. However, the UAE can feel very slow compared to other Western countries. The temperatures can reach up to 50 C. That's why it's essential to bring the right PPE for working in the UAE. This way, you can remain professional and safe while working in this country. Modern Slavery in Dubai most people are unaware of the presence of modern slavery in the UAE. Whenever the issue is brought up, they tend to respond with awkward explanations. After all, it is a wealthy nation. In fact, nearly 88% of the workforce is made up of foreign workers, and nearly 42% of these are from South Asia and 15% from Africa. Despite this, the Dubai government continues to allow modern slavery to thrive. This is largely due to private companies in the construction industry as well as unscrupulous agencies in the victims' home countries. Funny enough, the United Arab Emirates government shows little concern for the lives and human rights of its citizens, who are typically unskilled and from poor villages. The UAE government views construction workers as mere tools to earn money. The UAE's government does little to stop the human trafficking of women and children. The country clucks its tongue when it comes to human trafficking while protecting the interests of the people who profit from this brutality. Prostitution in Dubai The film Arabian Nights depicts the world of prostitution in Dubai. However, this scene does not reflect the reality. While prostitution is an old tradition, the UAE government should not condone its practice. The UAE has changed drastically in the last decade, and it is imperative that its laws reflect these changes and protect the rights of workers. Dubai's prostitution industry is a microcosm of new materialism that is a product of capitalism and government initiative. As with any industry, prostitution in Dubai has both positive and negative aspects. Although prostitution in Dubai is illegal, it is not uncommon in the UAE. It attracts foreign businessmen and expatriates from post-Soviet states, the Far East, Africa, and South Asia. Unfortunately, the police in the country turn a blind eye to the 30,000 foreign prostitutes in order to keep expatriates happy and the business going.